Good evening. Welcome to the Wendell Elamine James Show. Uh, to see this guest, we have Andre Gaskins. Gaps, Gaskins. Gaston. Gaston. With us this evening. Uh, he's a, a lifetime prisoner. He did, uh, how much time did you do in prison? 32 years. He did 32 years in prison. And uh, he just recently came home from prison. Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome home. Glad, glad to have you back into the community. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, uh, where did you do your, do your time? Uh, I was in several places. Uh, St. Quentin, uh, New Folsom, Corkland, okay. Tracy, okay. Uh, Soledad, Susanville, Solano, okay. CMC. So, 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 so you kind of like did the, the whole circuit. You, 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 made, yes. you, made, you made your rounds. Yes, sir. You know, okay, okay. Uh, what, what, what is your crime and in, in your, in your, your punishment? Uh, I was sentenced to uh, 24 to life uh, for second-degree murder mm -hmm. and attempted murder. So going into the system, you must have been a young man. I was 23 years old. 23 years old. And uh, where did you get sentenced from? Uh, Alameda County, Oakland, California. Oakland, California. You know, the young, young man going into the system. You went, you went into an environment where you was, everything was, was somewhat strange to you. you know, oh, you yeah, know. it was definitely different. Yeah, definitely different. You, um, um, you went into an environment where you know, it was, it was kind of like madness back then. You know, oh yeah, the wars were going on. Yeah, where did you start your time? Uh, DVI. DVI. That was called the Gladiator School then. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, you uh, you left DVI and you went to another prison. But let, let me ask, ask you a, 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 a few questions. When going into the system, you know, you had to to kind of like you know kind of like start a new life, start a new a new uh, uh, a, a new a new way of living. You know, what kind of Changes was that for you? Uh, it was it was kind of difficult at first, being that I had never been to prison before, mm -hmm. so making the adjustment to that type of environment was a little rough for me okay. in the beginning. Okay, so 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 going in the system, how how long did it take you after you start doing your time that you kind of like made a uh, took a reality check and, and came to the point where you had to say, let me do something different with my time. Well, for me, it took. Uh, Several years, because mm -hmm. uh, when I first came into the system, I had that I didn't care attitude. Right, right. You know, I figured, oh, I was sentenced to 24 years of life. I would never get out of prison. Mm -hmm. So uh, why do anything positive? Why change? Right, 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 right. I know, I know. Uh, for some <laughs> some people going into the system, they say, well, I got all this time, and it looks like a whole lot of time. Right. You know, we're starting off in, in <laughs> you know, in, in, with 25 years and 27 years of life. They say, well, we got Buck Rogers time. You know, right. I, I, I might not never get out. The thing That's I, true. At, at that time, things was going on, you know, so you didn't know whether you were going to make it out or not, but then you got to to the point where it, a reality set in that, hey, may, maybe I might be able to make it back to the world. You know, let me start doing something different. At that time, you started doing programs. Yeah, I started, uh, I think a couple of years later, I enrolled in uh GED class, and I got my GED. Okay. Uh, February of 1988, I graduated and got my GED. Uh, then I moved on to a solid ad uh, state prison, mm -hmm. and I became a cook. Okay. Uh, and I ran to a lot of guys that were doing a lot of positive programming that made me want to uh, start doing uh, the right thing. Something, something, something different with your time. Right. Yeah, right, right. Okay, um, so what, what kind of programs did, did, you, did you enroll in? Uh, I did uh, several self-help, NAA. Uh, I got an anger management, uh, victim awareness, victim impact. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a program that I, I got in when I got in Solano called Project Pride, where we did several di different programs all into one. Uh, I became a member of uh, the Prisoner Outreach Program uh, that deals with adverse youth, and that, and that became my passion. Okay. And that really kept me focused. Okay, okay. It's much more like, like a mentor pro program. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. And, uh, that, you know, they have, they have that in, in a lot of prisons, people. You know, try to assist youngsters coming into the system. Right. Do something different with their time, opposed to uh, when we came in the system. We didn't have a lot of people telling us <coughs> what we should do. We just came in, and, and, and it, it, it wasn't a manual. We just we had to self self educate ourselves right. into the system. That's that's a good. Thing. Uh, you went to board. How many how many times did it take for you to go to board? Uh, I went uh, five times before I was found suitable. Five times. What did you? Why do you think that you were denied five times? Well. Uh, 
the first few times, four times that I went, I don't think I truly understood what insight was. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand what made me tick. Mm -hmm. At least that's what the board explained to me. I didn't understand why I truly did the crime. I thought I did it because I was a drug dealer. I was just mad that day. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was uh, other causes and factors, you know, that it contributed to me uh, committing that crime that day, and I didn't understand it at that time. Okay, okay. So you, uh, wow, took five, five times. So, you, so when you went to board and you got found suitable, that day you went to board, <coughs> and when you went to board, did you, was, 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 was the board hearing different from the, the folks of the ones that you had prior? prior? Oh, of course. The atmosphere was totally different. Totally different. I mean, it, it, it was it was different in time. When, when, when I went in there this time, it wasn't no hostility. I, I didn't feel that uh, people were out to get me. It mm -hmm. was relaxed. They mm -hmm. came in and asked me my name, asked me some, some questions, and it made me comfortable. And I felt that uh, I, I, I truly this time had an opportunity to explain myself, to explain mm -hmm. who I am now uh, instead of who I was then. Okay, okay. Because going in front of the board of prison term, in front of commissioners, you know, we, you know, the commissioners, they, that's, that's their job. You know, they go up and down the, 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 the highway, you know, uh, five days a week, different right. prisons. And they hear some good stories. Of you course. Know, they hear some of the best. So they know when a person has have, have somewhat did the metamorphosis, did right. the change, you know. So going in front of the board of prison terms and them finding us suitable, finding you suitable at the time that they did, they seen the change that you made, you know. So they signed, they, they signed their name on the paper, right. you know. You coming home from prison, you uh, you went to, to, to a program. You had to come to a program. Yes. A, a transition housing program. Uh, how's that working for you? Uh, I'm in uh, Geo Ridge, sir. Oh, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Right on. Uh, it gives me a chance to go out and look for employment. Mm -hmm. uh, I recently uh, got involved in a, in a, in a program uh, that I'm in. And matter of fact, Monday I start uh, – Getting some kind of training in construction and electrics, like electronics, mm -hmm. uh, from seven thirty to three p.m. That's right on. That's right on. So, so you feel that your transition is, is smooth. You, yes, sir. You, you're making this look smooth. That's that's good. We wanna we wanna let the we wanna let the community know. We wanna let the society know who you are now, opposed to who you were then. Uh, going into the pri in, 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 into the prison system, uh, at the time that you did, we you know whatever crime that you committed, you committed a crime with the crime. <coughs> And opposed to who you were then, who you are now, C could you explain that to the, to the community? Could you explain that to us? For who society? I was then? Yes. Uh, opposed I was, to, who, I, opposed I, to who you are now. I was a youngster back then, uh, out of control, mm -hmm. uh, uh, didn't care, uh, didn't care uh, about no one else, how they felt, uh, how I harmed them, didn't care about anything. Mm -hmm. I had that attitude. It was me self first. I was so selfish and out of control. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and going and going in, you, like I said, doing all, of, all these self help programs and these programs, uh, and seeing people go home and come back, go home and come back, go home and come back. You repeat it. It's the revolving door. You know, we see the people go home, and they, they you know, they, they they got this big old smile on their face when they leave. They, hey man, I'm out of here. I'm there. Give me your number. I'm, I'm gonna write right. you. You know, and you, we get so much of that. We get to the point. Where, well, now nah, just go home, stay home. Man. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't even got to write. Just stay home. Make it, make it good. Stay home. You know, but then they come back. You know, how was that? I mean, how how did you, how did you feel about that? Uh, it, it was kind of difficult seeing people that I had been in prison with for a long time, uh, and seeing them leave, mm -hmm. and, and 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 that was kind of like a wake up call for me. And I was like, man, if these guys can do all this programming and go home, so can I. Uh, so I enrolled in arts and corrections, mm -hmm. and which I think was a a real real major uh, factor in. In my turning point, because it, it, it gave me the ability to write. Mm -hmm. I got in a course where I learned how to write and I learned how to do poetry. Okay. okay. And, and 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 in that program, I was able to express how I felt because I never felt with, never dealt with my issues or how I felt. Mm -hmm. So I was able to express that. Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing those other people go home, man, sometimes I would cry yeah. because you come close with people and sure. then they leave and it was like, man, I gotta keep doing this. I got no matter how long it take because right. I want to be free. Right. Uh, being in prison for, for a period of time, people don't understand that people that we live around become family. Right. You know, I mean, some people become more family than they have on the street. You know, 20, 30, 40 years in prison, they become your family. So when they go home, you kind of like feel that. It's right. like, like a, hey, my, my brother leaving, you know? And But but my thing is that, you know, I, I, I got to the point to where I was saying that, you give me one more shot. Just give me one shot, 
and I'm going to show them that you ain't got to come back. You know, I can leave here, and I can, when I come back, I can come back on the other side and leave when I want to leave, right. the time come to leave. So <clears throat> this is what we are today. We're in society, and we want society to know that, you know, sure, we committed a crime. We committed some heinous crimes to go to prison, you know. But we went to prison, and when we went, we had, we went temporarily insane. You know, anytime you take somebody's life, you go temporarily insane, but we come back. They got people that are still in society, they're still insane. Right. They've been out all this all this time, and they're still insane. But we went into a, 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 a system, a controlled system, where we did the complete metamorphosis. We did the turnaround, and we sh showed the Board of Prison Terms, which is one of some of the hardest people to prove that we've changed, that we have changed, and they gave us the opportunity to go home, to come back to the, to the world, and, and, and do it right. You know, we got a whole new chapter in life, and we want society to know that we are uh, we're not monsters. You know, we made we made a, we made a wrong, but we made a wrong when we came back into this world and we came back to do something right. You know, with our lives this time, we want to be taxpayers. We want to be able to, to fit in where, you know, we can have family that depends on us. We right. can be that that uncle that they can call when they in need when they get into a situation. You know, and that's how we come back to this world. So, you know, we, we want society to know that we we all right. We're good people. You know, we just need another shot, you know, and, and we got a lot of brothers coming home. A lot of brothers going in front of these board of prison terms, you know. And we got to be the ex the, the the example, you know, that when they come home, this is what they come home to, you know. So with that we wanna we wanna, you know, we want you to give, give us a little a little uh, 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 information to society what you you know, what you wanna do. What what you wanna do with your life. What your goals are? <coughs> speaking of speaking of examples, uh, <clears throat> when I, when I made that change in my life and I decided that <clears throat> that I was going to be uh, on track, uh, it was very important for me. So I didn't want to wait until I became free to be an example for others. Right. So I was an example on the inside. Right. So I made that change. You know, and they, people always ask me all the time, "Well, what is change?" I said, "The making or becoming different." I became someone different. I wanted to be self-defined because all my life, other people defined who I was. They gave me a nickname. Mm -hmm. They defined if I was a gang member. Mm -hmm. They defined who I was. So when I defined who I was, I started to find I'm a, I'm a self love I'm a husband, mm -hmm. a loving father, and a grandfather, and I want to be a productive citizen. Mm -hmm. So making that change and being out here, uh, one of my goals is to start my own nonprofit organization, uh, which is going to be called It Takes a Children, It Takes a Village Children Foundation, mm -hmm. because I want to work with at-risk youth, because I understand how the youth of today that are in the position I was in back then, I don't want them to be able to make that choice that I made. Mm -hmm. I want them to have the tools that I have now so they can make good decisions. Right. And that's very important. Very, very important. Very important. That's, 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 that's good and that's wise. You know, we, um, you know, I was in Old Folsom and, and, and we had a, a brother come in and uh, <coughs> he would go into the youth authorities. You know, and he came to me one day. He said, "Elmi," he said, "I'm going to the youth authority tomorrow, man." And uh, I was there a couple weeks ago. Right. The youngsters in in the youth authority asked me to tell the OGs, "What's up?" You know, uh, he said, "What's up, man?" Because they look up to people that's in prison. And I said, "Wow, you know, that that, that kind of like gave me a little shake." You know, they look up to people that's in prison, the OGs that's in prison, but they in the youth authority. Right, so right. the next step would be prison. You know, what's up? Yeah, we doing all right. You know, so I'm telling him, I said, man, we need to we need to stop this. We need to break the cycle. We need to show the youth that this ain't cool. Right. You know, on this side it ain't cool. You done made it this far. So what we got to show them now? We got this is this, we got to stop this. We got to break the cycle. And what you're talking about doing, doing doing is great, man. You know, the youth need it because we've been there. We 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 we've already done that. You know, we got to break the cycle because a lot of them come up without fathers, you know, single mothers, mothers doing the best they can. You know, some of the kids got to get out and they got to buy school clothes for themselves. You know, they got to fend for themselves. So what you're talking about doing is beautiful, man. You know, and I, and I commend you for that, you know. You know, yeah. give back. You know, we we did what we did, went to prison, we made it back out, we got to give back now. So so we got to break the cycle, we got to con continue doing as we're doing, and don't let nobody tell us that we can't do it. We do anything we want right. to do. You know, we got a black president now. <laughs> you know, so us by and having the black president, we do anything we want to do. We in America, you know. So I want to, I want to uh, 
thank you for coming on to the show today. You know, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, and, 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 and we want to try to get people to look at our show because this needs to be told. What we're talking about needs to be told. You're right. We've Keep never had a forum right. that lifers have had to give society who we are. We have, we have never had. This is the first time and it needs to be told. And I appreciate you coming on to the show, you know. And one more shot. Give 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 that, give, give the society who you are. Man. And, and I and I and I and I appreciate the opportunity. Uh men like us as well as women, uh, we need a forum somewhere so we can express and tell the community, you know, the people that we become, mm -hmm. how we can become an asset to the community. Right. Right. Uh Cause we need it, exactly. we need it bad. To, it's so many youngsters out there thinking that it's cool to support negative stuff. It's cool to be bad. It's cool to carry weapons. Mm -hmm. It's cool to shoot people when it's not. not, not at all. You know, so we all must work together as a team. Cause ain't no one man or one man, woman do it. You can't, you it's can't, gonna take us all. Like you say, it takes a village. That's what it, it does. It takes a village to raise a child. You know, so that's what we have to do. And like I say, again, I commend you for coming on today. You know, thank you. I appreciate it, my brother. All right. Thank All you right. for the thank time. You. All right. All right. All right. All right.